Hey guys, welcome along to the Golf Club 2. This is the second video that I'm going to be, uh, well, second video that I'm doing this morning. It is, um, it's early in the morning, it's about 6am. I've done one video which is the tutorial video, so if you guys want to check that out, if you're watching this on YouTube and you want to check out the tutorial video, have a look at uh, the other videos in the channel. You'll soon find that is on, oh, well, on YouTube, it's um, Tim Wilson UK if you're looking for the channel. Let's jump straight into the character creation because that's the next thing I'm going to do. Character creation and equipment. And if you guys are watching this on Twitch, um, feel free to chuck any comments and or suggestions across in the box. Or you want to see something particular, I'll certainly have a look at it for you. I just want to have a quick look at this. Alright, what have we got here? Aces are wild. They started around on Faxon Park Golf Club. So that's pretty cool. The notifications don't pitch up, and we can also delete them all as well, which is nice. Ha! Wicked. All right, so let's go into the character creation. All right, so there's my default character. Um, let's just see if I can get this to come up again on... There we go. All right, so nationality, we want to definitely choose... Let's, uh, let's come across, because we want to not go through all of these. We want to see if we can get to England. There we go. I think you could probably do United Kingdom. Let's have a quick look, but um, I'm going to go with... No, you can't go with United Kingdom, so you have to select England, which is pretty cool because you had the, the choice before. So, England, right-handed, gender, male, appearance. All right, skin tone. That is proper pasty, that is. That just looks a bit... No, it's okay. It's just a light, I suppose. That's probably more realistic. Let's go with that for skin tone, eye colour. Green. Probably more like that. Hair. I haven't got any at the minute. It's all shaved off. Ha! <laughs> Let's see what this one's like. Oh, he's got a little thing shaved into the side. Is that completely bald? That's probably about right at the minute. Let's do that. Facial hair. I've got a lot of the minute. So, but I am going to go with... What's this one? Got two pages here. Well, look at this bad boy. He looks like he just pulled up in a Harley. <laughs> On oh, a Harley Davidson. What's these ones down here? I can't see it because of the photo there. That's a goatee. What's this one? Just a plain old moustache. That, you know what? One of these up here is probably more realistic. Yeah, is this one a bit more? No, it's a bit less. I'm going to go with that one there. All right, so eyebrows, this guy's hardly got any. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Not too that, that bothered about it. Eyelashes, so you can either have eyelashes or not have eyelashes, great. Skin, weathering, okay. Let's add some weathering, because uh, I am not a spring chicken anymore. Let's, ooh, not that much. Let's bring that back down. Let's leave it on 40. There's a little bit there. Forehead. actually do anything oh yeah there's a few of the wrinkles there yeah 
Yeah, let's leave those wrinkles there. <clears throat> frown lines. All right, I haven't got any frown lines. So forehead moles, forehead pimples, crow's feet, eye bags. Jeez, you can add everything on here now. They're really pronounced, they are. Now I'm going to go with no eye bags, I think. Eye bag moles. No. What's this one? Can't see it yet. Eye bag pimples. No. Freckles. I haven't got freckles. Dimples. I haven't got dimples. What's on the next page? Jeez, there's loads here. Lip shade. Alright, so my lips are darker than this. How dark can you go? Quite dark. Alright, let's leave that. Uh, laugh lines. Haven't got any laugh lines. What's these bottom ones? Chin dimples. I haven't got any dimples in my chin either. Chin moles, neck wrinkles, no, nothing that. Alright, so facial features. Alright, so you choose the shape of your face. Cranium height. Jeez, that's weird. I think that's a normal bonce. Let's leave it there. Cranium width. Let's have a look at it from the front. What? That's proper alien looking. And probably I'm going to leave that at 50, which is smack bang in the middle. Jaw. Jaw is, you know what, it's not that dissimilar to this. It's probably a little more like that, but it's probably a little bit longer. What's jaw depth? Ah, uh, how much it sticks out. <laughs> I am probably about like that. Chin length. That is bizarre. Right, I have got a chin, so let's about I'm gonna leave it about fifty to be honest with you. Chin width, chin depth, throat. What can you change? Oh, it's how much it hangs down. <laughs> yeah, it is uh, it is quite comical, Jamie, I must admit. Jowls, alright, I haven't got jowls. Cheeks. Cheek width. You know what? My cheek. Let's just have a quick look at this. All right, they don't stick out like that, and they're not like that. So they are pretty much in the middle. Like that. Cheek height, cheek roundedness. You know what? That's not dissimilar to my face, to be fair. Nose. Now this is where the difference comes in. Let's have a look at the old boy's nose. Nose length. All right. I do have a slightly bigger nose than the one that they've actually given. So I'm going to put it there. Yeah. Nose width. Let's turn the bad boy around. So my nose is... No, it's bigger than that. Probably about like that. That's looking okay. Nose height. Now that's okay, I'm gonna leave that there. Nose turn, don't know what that is. Is that the turn up at the end? My nose does not turn up at the end. Bridge width. All right, so this needs to be narrower. That's it. Yeah, that's more like it. Let's bring it up a little bit, maybe to 10 or 15. Bridge depth I'm gonna leave. Brow, that's fine. Eyes. Now, lid shape. 
eye spacing. I think they are a little bit too far apart. That's a bit better. But the eye size. How, what is that eye depth? Ooh, weird. Eye depth and eye angle. So you can't change the eye size. Eye angle. All right. So you can have different eye angles to reflect nationality or race, so to speak. Mouth. Mouth height. Is that how high it is on your face? Yeah, it is. Mouth width. That's about right, but the fullness needs to be... That's a bit better. Probably about 65, that'll do. Ears. Ear angle. So the angle's about right, but my ears are nowhere near that big. I'm going to leave my ears about there. Where's my coffee? Let's have some coffee. As I say, it's just gone 6 a.m. in the morning here. So I'm just waking up. <clears throat> have we got anything else? No, that's it. What's at the bottom here? Oh, we don't want to do that. We don't want to randomize the appearance. Back. All right, so we got our guy. Clothing, let's choose some clothing. What do we got here? First round outfit, second round outfit, third round, fourth round, otherwise you just stay with the same one. Casual outfit, so let's choose the hat. That's gonna look stupid. Yeah. <laughs> I quite like the idea of the flat cap. Yeah, I like the idea of that. I'm going to play with a flat cap, I think. I can't, un none of that stuff is unlocked yet, so I can do nothing with that. Let's have a look at the, is this like a Panama? That just looks a bit weird. Hats always look weird on characters because they, they just, they're just odd. That one looks about right for me. I'm going to leave that on there. I think that's pucker. Can we change the colour? How do we change the colour? That is a proper jerry hat. The Panama's a hat. It's more of a jerry hat. I would imagine we're going to see jerry wearing that. Alright, what have we got here? We've got a polo shirt. What's this one? That's just like a standard shirt, that is. That's not even... I would never golf in that. Alright, so that's like a waterproof. What's this one? That's with a pullover. It looks like it needs a good iron. No, it's not a pullover. It's like a... Like a gilet type thing. What's this one? T-shirt. No, that ain't gonna happen. This is a long, that's just like a, not a hoodie, but like a pullover. I quite like that. I do quite like that one. I quite like that. I like the jumper, but I don't like it with a t-shirt. So hopefully this is going to be a jumper without a t-shirt. That's it. That's the one I'm looking for. Yeah, that's the one I'm going for. Let's come back. Let's choose me trousers. Couldn't change any of the colours on these, but I'm going to go for trousers. I'm not going to go for shorts. Let's see what we've got here. We can't choose anything at the moment. That's it. Now, I don't know where the, the actual DLC stuff is because you were supposed to get a load of um, a load of extra stuff, but I don't really know where it is. 
and I haven't been given any coins, so um, I've yet to see. They're more like it. That's more like it. What are these ones on the end? These are like two-tone shoes. No. Don't know what they are, but let's have a look at these ones again. No, I prefer those. We're going to stick with those. It would be nice to change some of these colours up, but I can't see where to do that. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Glove. we just got a glove. Glasses. No glasses. We can't, uh, we can't take any of these at the moment because we haven't got any cash. A watch. I don't see the point of putting a watch on because I've got a jumper on. And the same thing with the belt. It's actually equipped anyway. So that is... Ah. So the hat, you press edit, custom colors, primary color. All right, we can choose the color now. So what do we do? Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to go for... You know what, I'm going to go for a, like a baby blue. Why not? Emblem foreground. So you can put an emblem on your hat. No, don't want to be doing that. How do we take it off? No emblem. Okay, so I think that's when you've got your um, when you've got your society going on. All right, sure. So we can change it by doing this. So custom colours. Primary colour is the shirt. Uh, is the jumper. So can we colour pick here? little bit darker I think let's try and match the hat as best we can that's probably about right let's have a look at my guy all right it's coming along nicely and I think all we need now is I want to change the the trousers just I want to go for a primary color I want to change this to a where is the there we go i want a dark gray as opposed to a there we go let's go with that and then let's change the shoes and i'm going to go for white no jamie i am not going for brown shoes it is not going to happen. Secondary colour. Can we change? Where's the secondary colour? Ah, it's on the soles. That's pretty cool. So let's move the secondary colour and see if we can get it to match. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. Yeah, baby. Look at that. Rocking the baby blue. All right, so that's the character creation club set. I am going to I'm going to give the tour clubs a bash. I think I'm going to go to the driving range in a minute once we're finished here and I'm going to give the tour clubs a bash. Uh, golf bag. Now let's Okay, so that says 279. Let's just go back to the tour, uh, the standard clubs and have a quick look here. Yeah, see the driver there says 240. So there is a marked difference in the in the lengths of the club. So the lob wedge, 68 yards. Um, on player, the lob wedge, 75 yards. Driver, 265. So you're going up by 25 from 240 to 265 from standard to player. 
and then from 265 to 279 so the jump's not that big when you go to tour but I think the extra yardage would be good let's have a look what we got in the golf bag so we have a driver a three wood a five wood a three hybrid a four hybrid a five six seven eight nine now I am gonna swap the four hybrid Ah, okay, so you've got, sounds like player is the same distance, sounds like player is the same distance, yeah, that's right, Jamie, I think you're about bang on there, fella, um, it does seem like it's the same distance, well, it was 265 was the drive on the, on the player, and it was 265 in the golf club, so in the golf club one. So we've got pitching wedge, gap wedge, sand wedge, lob wedge, so we've got pitching wedge, sand wedge, now the thing is, is that what it doesn't show is it doesn't show where it is or how far it is. So if I change that in there now, gap wedge is 115 yards. Um, so it sort of slots in between the pitching wedge and the sand wedge. But I don't want to put that in there now. I want to put in here... I think I'm gonna go for, see that hits farther than a two iron. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna drop the five hybrid back in here. No, am I four hybrid? So that's 210. See, these are nice gaps actually. Three wood, five wood, three hybrid, four hybrid, five iron. They're all about 10 to 12 off the other one, aren't they? It's only when you start getting up towards the larger clubs or the longer clubs that there's a bigger gap. Um, yeah, so we've even got two wood in there. I don't really know what to change here. So you can edit the clubs as well head can you edit the colors you can primary color ah oh, cool Ooh. let's zoom out a little bit i like this i like the fact that there's more customization in the game now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna rock the baby blue driver. White, where's the white? Is there white on here? Is it the, no, it's not the grip. Ah, it must be that little arrow on the top. Let's leave that though. Shaft. We can't change the shaft, but we can edit the color. So let's go. primary color I'm gonna rock white shafts I think is that white hoping my version of TGC 2 gets delivered early Friday can't come soon enough that's Phoenix J 14 it is good mate. I haven't actually played yet I've just been screwing around with the character creation at the minute and the club selection so I'm about to uh, finish this up so it says, it says I've got white shaft, but I can't really see that they're white. Uh, Mr. Jamie Rocks, I'm in the same boat, Phoenix, J14. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit disappointing for you guys, to be honest with you. And it's a shame um, that we can't all get on and play together. But um, it is what it is. Oh. Right, custom colors, primary on. So I'm gonna go for, I'm probably gonna regret it. I'm gonna go for white grips. And the secondary color I'm gonna go for is the blue again. Now I'm trying to hit the same baby blue here. So 
you can see we've got a an RGB reference in the bottom there. So let's just swing these clubs around. You can see it's got that very fine line. Now, I should try and get the RGB exactly the same, but the chances are it's going to be really, really difficult because you can see here there's so much variation. Jamie, have you not still got your American PSN account? Because I remember we had this discussion before. <laughs> Blake will love the powder blue. I wonder whether Blake's actually going to get this. I don't. I know that he didn't particularly like the first one, but um, yeah, look at that powder blue, baby blue. Now, can you take the colour across all of your clubs? That's the thing. No, mate, lost all the passwords and stuff. Unlucky. Otherwise, you could have got it like I've got this one. Adamski, 2112. I have it pre-ordered, download on Xbox One, but cannot play till Friday. How are you able to play it now? I ordered it from the American PSN site, so um, from the, the American PSN store. So it's available, always available here in the UK from 5 a.m. this morning. So I've been on it since 5 a.m. Now, how do you roll this out across all of your clubs that's the weird thing no that wasn't good let's go back to the clubs oh i see thanks okay you're welcome adamski 2012 you're new to my twitch channel welcome along I think most of the other guys, Phoenix J14, Mr. Jamie Rocks, Jenny N220, Jerry N220, these guys uh, are all, I've known these guys for a little while. I've known Jerry for the longest of times and I've known Jamie for a, for a fair amount of time as well. Now, I don't know, equip and edit. How do you roll this out? <laughs> so it looks like Scals has just started playing as well. How do you start or how do you change? Is that, has it not saved my driver? Why has my driver gone black again? Why did that change? I don't get that at all. All right, we've got the blue, we've got the secondary color. Let's change what the hell let's change the shaft to white i don't know why that didn't save that i don't know whether i did something wrong or what but so apologies for this guys i'm doing the same thing again that i did a few minutes ago This is the grip, that's fine. Secondary colour, let's move this over. Can't see it that much, so let's... Equip. Adamski, 2112, I followed you for a while, but just a lurker usually, also from the UK. I'm terrible at golf games, I have to add, but enjoyed leaderboard back in the day on my Commodore 64, and I did buy a TGC1 for my PS4 when I had one and enjoyed it. I decided to buy the second game for my Xbox One. Sorry for the long post, by the way. Not a problem, not a problem at all, my friend. 
Jamie's saying push, push the touchpad. Doesn't do anything, buddy. All right, it's it saved it now. Yeah, the touchpad doesn't do anything. I'd be interested to know how you roll the colors out across all your other clubs. Golf bag, let's see if it's still there. Driver's still there now. So if I go edit here, ah, copy style to woods. So you can't do that with the driver. So the driver is a unique club, but when you do it with your irons and your woods, so let's do this with the woods. Um, have I got a two wood? I haven't got a two wood in the bag. So equip and edit. So let's edit the head on the woods. I'm going to do this quickly. Let's bring this up here. There we go. And then I'm going to go back, change the shaft to white. It is white, so that's fine. Change the grip to white. Let's pull this up here. There we go. And now if I go copy style to woods, that should have worked. So let's have a look. That didn't work. <laughs> copy style to woods. Are you sure you want to make all of your woods look like this? Confirm. Well, that didn't work at all. So I have no idea. Oh, there we go. Three wood and five wood are done. Then we've got the hybrid clubs, which aren't done. But what I want to do is I want to change the grips and the shafts on these irons. Uh, the heads, I'm not bothered about. Um, can we change the color of this? Where's the gray? I don't see the gray. And I don't see the black either. Where's the black? It on the I want to change this primary this um, color here to the blue that'll do and I want to change maybe it's the hosel I oh, know it's not it's the actual it's the back of the club I'm gonna leave that like a gray color um, I want to change the shaft. To white. And I'm going to change the grip. That's got like a, yeah, it's got like a orange in the background. So we'll change that secondary color to the blue. There we go. And now we should be able to copy this to the irons. Let's have a look. Yeah, 
all my irons are the same now. My wedges are a bit different. I'm not going to do those at the moment because I want to get in and do a round. Uh, but I am playing on tour. I'm going to have a go on tour and before I finish this video off, I want to dive over to the driving range. And I've got to figure out how to do that. Let's have a look at... No, there'll be no stats and records here. Nothing in there at the minute. Handicap record, course design stats, there'll be nothing in there. Notifications, that's just the guys who've just started. Um, don't really know what that is. Add guest. Ah, oh, that's for land. That's for local play. Uh, settings we've had a look at. Course desire, friends and multiplayer. That's fine. That's a bit more information. Right. Let's go back to this menu. I want to go to the driving range, and I want to try these clubs out because I may have to change them back. Does tour affect your swing difficulty or just the club? So it affects the difficulty and it affects the distance. So. Yeah, look at this, all the baby blues. All right, so this is the first time I am trying these clubs. Oh, yeah, it's a lot harder. Backswing fast, downswing fast. It wasn't that wayward, but the drive distance is a lot further. I was getting about 250 yards. Fast and fast again, still in the red cone though, and that's why that one went fairly straight. That's too, yeah, see the difference is, is when you hit it straight, it goes an awful lot further. That's more like it, perfect and perfect. That should go. Oh crap, I went straight to tour, haha, ha. miserable so far, lol. Um, yeah, I'm going to try a round after this on tour, um, using the tour clubs, but it seems like you just have to be a little bit more fluid. You see there, I pushed that to the right, which means it's actually pulled the ball, which is pretty good because that is... It almost means like if you're coming down too fast, the club face is going to close, perhaps. That was better. A little fast on the downswing. It is, um, let's put it this way. The difference between tour and standard is tour is a lot less forgiving. And I think that is the main thing. Perfect and perfect, but slightly offline. And I think this will really only have an impact when you're playing into tight fairways and into the green. I mean, that one went 308. It's not much wind here. A little bit fast, but wow, look at that. So I was left and I was fast, which just accentuated that hook. Fast and fast. I'm not entirely sure what the benefit of, um, you know, I suppose the benefit of these clubs is that it's a little bit more challenging. Um, and also, it's you're getting more distance, but does that outweigh the fact that it goes so wayward? It's not that far off. A prismatic RL flopping is still great. <laughs> cool. I'll be all right then. A little bit slow on the backswing, but 
a nice perfect downswing. Putting for me is a nightmare, I can never get it right. I'll be interested to see what the putting is like in tour. Little bit fast. It's a lot less forgiving. I mean, when I was doing the practice or the tutorial, I think it was on standard there and everything was perfect, perfect. In fact, let's, uh, let's go back. Um, let's quit this. Let's go back to my clubs. Let's drop this down to player and see the difference. It might be that player is what I'll start off on. I mean, I said I'd start off on tour, but I think for the purposes of having a at least one decent round, Oh, that's a lot easier. That's a lot easier. I mean, I was fast on the downswing. I mean, it still goes 280, 290. Have I got a tailwind here? Let's have a look. Yeah, ever so slightly. Perfect and perfect. Slightly offline. Is it going to be about 290 again? It is 291. Perfect and perfect. Slightly offline. So I think that's the main difference. I mean, there is some yardage benefits, but I think the main difference is that the um, if you're slightly off center on that red cone, definitely accentuates the uh, the hook or the slice. See that's still going off to the right hand side. I'm still within the cone but it's still going on to the right. Just went plus five on tour, we'll replay on standard and relay my result. What, um, what course did you play my friend? Seems like I've got that natural fade that I had in the golf club one. Everything's going off to the right. That might be because I'm playing left hand, not left handed, playing with my left hand with the left stick. Yeah, you see everything is slightly off to the right, so I need to try and compensate for that a little. Right, so that tends to compensate for it a bit. So if I flick the stick forward, I get a fast downswing and it seems to counteract that slight fade. Because that is going straighter, that was perfect and perfect. Bunker Hill Golf Club, easy course, so you could go 10 under, just struggle badly with the tour swing. So he went plus five. What uh, what platform are you playing on, Prismatic? took a slow backswing there and I did that purposely. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to play around with the player level clubs, which is what I'm using at the moment. Let's come out of this. So I'm going to use the player setting clubs. 
or player level clubs and I am going to play around but I'm going to call it a day for this video let's have a look Tim can you change the camera angles um, you can change the camera angles if you go into settings cameras so I think you can choose there we go scout on approach and putting cameras follow camera on but what you can do I know when you're playing I don't know whether you can do it on the driving range but you can change the camera by using the d-pad when you hit the ball but I don't know whether you can do it on the driving range let's see yeah you can you can change the camera angles <laughs> the old geezer's still there, look, practicing. Um, Xbox, unfortunately, ha ha. I don't practice or do the tutorial, so Tour Swing murdered me the first few holes. You practiced a bit, so you'll probably be prepared for it. Yeah, I think I'm going to play around on player, and then I'll judge whether I need to go up. Um, but yeah, Jamie, to answer your question, when you swing, if you press, you got left, which is almost like an incoming one, right, which is an incoming from the other side, a chase cam which is the up button on the d-pad and then the down button brings you back to your golfer so yeah there are some different options there on the camera angles which is quite nice in flight as well um, so let's go back to the main menu guys thank you for tuning in if you're watching this on twitch if you're watching this on youtube and you enjoyed the video hit that like rating it's always appreciated feel free to leave some comments and also subscribe to the channel and those guys that are watching on twitch be sure to subscribe to my uh, my YouTube channel as well, Tim Wilson UK. Check it out. There's some uh, some content on there from the Golf Club One and also other games, and you'll see all the videos that are currently being streamed live on Twitch will be pulled across onto YouTube. So if you want to ch actually check those videos or check back to those videos for future reference, they will all be there. So check it out, Tim Wilson UK. That's the YouTube channel. But I'll be back with a round soon, guys. On the next video, I'll be back with a round. I'm just going to have a quick look, see where my DLC is. And then I'll be back with my first round. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy. Bye now.